Today I'm going to show you how to configure and set up RDP service on your Windows Server and how to connect it. Right now I'm connected to my server using a console connection. Currently that's the easiest way I can use my server. Open Server Manager and wait for it to fully load. Click on Add Roles and Features. From this new window select Role Based or Feature Based Installation and click on Next. In this step, we need to choose the servers that we want to install RDP on. I'm choosing the current server and click on Next. Here, we should check the roles we want to install. Locate and check Remote Desktop Services from the list and click on Next. No additional features needed. In the Role Services window, I'm going to choose Remote Desktop Licensing and Remote Desktop Session Host Services to be installed along the Remote Desktop role. Enabling these services provides features that simplify the final usage. In the last window, leave the Restart checkbox unchecked if you don't want to restart your server. Ignore the warnings and red boxes. Windows Server is simply notifying us about the required server reboot, but we can just abort the reboot for now. After installing the RDP role, we need to enable the Remote Desktop feature on the current server, so it accepts the client's requests. Select Local Server from the side panel. As you can see, Remote Desktop is disabled by default. Click on it and choose Allow Remote Connections to this computer from the bottom and accept the prompt. You can additionally allow other users for remote desktop connections by clicking on the Select Users button. The administrator is allowed by default for this action. And finally, click on OK. At this point, the RDP service is installed and configured on your Windows Server, and you can connect to it from another device. Let's just test that now. I'm changing to my desktop right now so I can connect to the RDP server. Open the RDP client and enter the remote server's IP address. Enter the username and password of the administrator or any other configured users and click on OK. Accept the server certificate if prompted. Now you can see that the RDP connection is established and we can use this connection to control the remote machine. I hope this tutorial was useful. There is also a hyperlink provided in the caption if you need additional information. If you have any specific tutorial requests, please feel free to leave a comment for me.